Hello, this is Ali Alami from Big Smoke Cigar Kuwait. Today we're gonna start talking how we're gonna pick your cigars and how you know it's authentic and how it's been proper uh, maintained and proper being kept. First, we're gonna talk about the sizes. There is different sizes. They come in tube and they come in non-tubes. Some of them, is. like the Churchill, then like here we have the Romeo Juliet Churchill. We have here the Epicure Number no. Two Hoyo de Monterey. It's a robusto size. Then we have, for another example, is the Boulevard Number no. Two as a Corona size. And we have here the Monte Cristo Open Series Regettas as a Torpedo size. It will come like this. This shape. You can choose your cigars depend on your timing and your choice of the flavor. The first go for the, the flavor and then come the second for the the timing because you don't need to light a cigar for a, a couple of minutes and then you don't have some, the time to continue and you're gonna throw it. So the better you will choose the size that will take your timing, what you have available for you to smoke it and it will be finished for you. The second thing is how can I pick my cigar from the shops? Usually we recommend that you will buy your cigar from an, an authorized dealers, La Casas or authorized tobacconists. That's why you will be sure that you will get an authentic cigar and properly kept. Cigars, they come in different shapes in different countries. Cubans, Nicaraguans, like what we have here. And here. And they, they have different shapes of boxes, uh, different uh, packings. We'll go first for, uh, let's say, the Nicaraguans. They're here. Nicaraguan, they come on cedar woods, they come sealed, to be sure that you will open the seal if you want to buy it. And then, the second thing for the Dominican and Nicaraguan, when you open the box, you remove the paper like this, they come in sequence, you can see the label, they are in sequence, you cannot find the cigar like upside down, or a cigar as the label is down, and the others up, they should come in sequence because they will never go outside the factory without uh, what they call it, uh, quality control checking. Then you can smell the box, fresh, well-kept cigar. It will have a very, very nice smell from it. Second thing is some of them they will have a date, like what we have here, the Cuban cigars. Cuban cigars, they have a date and they have a code, a box without a date or a code that means it's a fraud or not being uh, manufactured in Cuba. This is definitely the new, they have a new hologram seal also with the dollar. This is the new hologram. Before they don't have it, now they have it. Just to add the authentication. And the box should be sealed. You will open it yourself. And then you can check your cigars. Also we'll open another Cuban cigars. Also should be sealed. And should be, there is a date. You can see all the Cuban cigars, they have a date and a code. All of them you should check the date and code. You see, this is because it's before they, ch they put the, the new hologram, some of them, so when you open the box, you will cut the seal, open the box. Also, you will have the same, what we said before. You will have the, the paper, authentication papers. 
that have been put, been put by the manufacturer. And also you can see, all of them, they will come in a sequence. All of them in the same, the, the, if have one label or two labels, the color you can see, all of them, they have the same color, nothing up, nothing down, and that what assure you that's a great cigar, and then you will have the smell. A very nice kept cigar, you will have a very powerful smell, like what you're gonna have it in the, a pre-draw or a cold draw. The Cubans, they will have paper inside, like this one. It will tell you what is the brand, like here, Havana, Cuba, Partagas, CDD number five, uh, 50, there's the gauge, it's 50, Largo, one third, one third, uh, the size, they will give you the size and the length, and also the other, and if it's a limited edition or a normal one, and also here they will give you the details of how you're gonna maintain your cigars. Some people, they don't read these papers, that like, uh, <clears throat> uh, these Habanos have made with the finest tobacco in the world for the finest enjoyment. These cigars should be stored in a humidor away from product with a strong uh, odor or under uh, what they call it uh, correct conditions or a temperature it should be from 16 centigrade to 18 centigrade temperature and humidity should be from 65 to 70. Sometimes you go to a shop and you will see the humidity is 80 and the guy will tell you, yes, it is good, it's very nice cigar, this is wrong. Go buy this paper and you can answer the guy. That's why you will find your cigar in the authentic shop. Other boxes, they will come like this. Not only a wood, like Partagas, they will come like this without, you know, without any cover. Other boxes like this one, they will come in a wood box and covered with a cardboard box with the seal on it, with the seal, the other dollar seal, and it will be also completely airtight plastic isolated it to keep it in a very good condition. Other things, like you know, when you uh, you will you will find a, a good cigar in a shop. You will check. You will see how they are maintained good. If it's maintained good, you will like this box. You see, you see the oils. It's already transferred on the wax paper. You see how this 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 box is 2000. From year 2000, this is Roman Alanis. You can see how the the oil transfer to the wax paper. You see how is the, the the shape of the cigar and how the color is going. So beautiful, and the aroma. You can you can smell it even from far because it's been well kept for so many years. And this is the signal that when you see a box like this. You want to grab it, you're not going to hand it up, even if it's open. Some of the other manufacturers, they will have their cigars kept in a wood box, like here, and also they put them on a cellophane paper, isolated every cigar individually, isolated with the paper, so you can take it individually, and also you can see it is sequenced even if you if it's missing you see here but also if you, when you put them together you can see it's a one line so a cigar with a bundle a cigar without a box you should be aware of bu buying these kind of cigar always should be coming in a, in a box in a, a well done box and it should be having their seal should be if there is another brand, they should have their own seal, both all the seal, like limited edition, other seal, and, and the full packing of plastic to keep it 
very fresh. Some of them they will come without, just only one, only the box, but also they have the seal, the limited edition seal, and the code. This is the, all of the Cubans. Some of them they will have the La Casa seal, the Havana seal, and the dollar seal, and the code. Should be having the code. Otherwise, you should suspect that's the new cigars. That's for today. I have, I hope that uh, this information get you uh, to know how to choose your cigars. And uh, for another details, you know, some of the people they like the tubes, and some of them they like the box. The tubes actually they made them to help you. That if you take an individual cigar, you can keep it with it. But if you have a humidor at home, you can carry a box and open it and put it in your humidor. And you can take it singly by a cigar case. The other thing is, choosing your cigars, we said previously, it depends about your choice. You know, normally you should try different kind of cigars between mild and medium and full. And then you will determine which one you like between the brands like from the Cuban or Dominican or Nicaraguan or Honduras there is a variety of cigars in the market and by experience and by smoking you will understand and you will know what is the sizes you like what is the flavor you like what is the aroma you like and on that you can start by your own cigars thank you for today this is Big Smoke Cigar Kuwait Ali al Thank you very much and I hope we'll see you in another videos we started this is our first and thank you